welcome to Caribou Tech. This is Michelle speaking. Today we are introducing our 1,000 liters uh, two vessel brew house. As you can see, we have uh, this system installed ready to ship, and uh, uh, the combination is a two vessel uh, that means mesh launch tank and a kettle whirlpool tank. Uh, here is a 2,000 liters hot water tank. This is a 1,000 liters mesh launch tank. As you can see, this one is a Venice doll, and also we have a small glass window in the middle. You can have the uh, uh, monitor of the uh, working process during the meshing process, and also this one is a green shoot. You can have the spent grain out from here and then uh, send it to outside. And uh, this one is a balance tank, and also you can see the uh, water pump is uh, underneath. And for this system, we have a total two sets of water pump. Combined pipeline and share the same functions can permit you have the uh, double batch per day, and uh, they are in charge of different process. One uh, water pump is uh, doing the knocking out process, and in the same time, another water pump will do the, the second batch, the meshing and the long-term process. Very high efficiency. This one is installed with a motor and a reducer. We have green beaker inside. Let's have a look. This is the rigs, and uh, we have different shapes on each side. And we also have the uh, auto grain out device. And later, when I go to the uh, uh, upside of the platform, I will show you more details. Underneath of the mesh land tank, you can see there are two pipelines. One is uh, the word collection pipe and uh, is uh, going into the balance tank and uh, going to other tank by the uh, water pump. And the second pipeline is uh, uh, the back flushing pipeline. It's connected to the hot water. After you finish the long-term process, uh, there must be some uh, gradings underneath the sink plate. So you can open this pipeline to flush and uh, to clean the underneath of the seal plate. It's very convenient. You don't have to take out the seal plate. It's very big, very heavy, but this pipeline can do this job very easily. For this system, we do have three sets of uh, uh, flow meter. The brand is IFM, imported from German, very high quality. One is to measure the hot water liquid amount, and the second one is the initial water uh, liquid amount, and the third one is after the PHE to measure the uh, total what volume uh, which will go to the fermenters so this one you can see here is uh, between each tank from mesh to kettle so that means the initial what uh, volume that before the kettle process uh, you can see the uh, volume on the screen of plc as well this one is the kettle tank so uh, it combines the function of kettle and whirlpool so you can see here is an indoor condensing pipe and uh, also here we have installed a material sensor so to protect the, uh, uh, the boiling effect to uh, uh, close the steam uh, inlet uh, automatically when the uh, boil the foams very much. Also here is a PT100, the temperature sensor. We have all the wires, the cables installed already. Uh, you can uh, have the temperature controlled through the PLC system, very convenient. For the knocking out process, we have all the words coming out from the kettle wobble tank, coming through the hops filter and go into the PHE. After the word coming out, you can see here there is a third flow meter. The flow meter can measure all the amount of the words that we are going into the fermenters. And we also have the uh, oxygenation device in the edge tank, very convenient for you to do every process on site. Now we are on the top side of the platform. Uh, we have the uh, stairs and platform with guard drills, uh, very safe for you to brew every day. And uh, also this one is a hot water tank, 2,000 liters. And this one is a mesh laundry tank. And this one is a kettle water tank. So have a look at the mesh tank on the top side. First step for us to brew every day is to have the hot water go into the mesh tank. Uh, this pipeline is uh, with, uh, installed with a flow meter as well. This is the first one to measure the hot water volume. So we have a function that you uh, enable, you can set the volume of the um, water, for example, the meshing water and also the sponging water. And you, when you set up the, vo uh, the volume uh, data and uh, you have this uh, pneumatic 
valve on, and you can control through the PLC screen. Uh, when the water is uh, getting to the target volume, this valve will stop automatically. So you can control how many water you have added into the tank. We have a look at the pipelines on top. This one is the hot water in. This one is the sponging ring inside to do the strike meshing process. And also this one, you can see there is a hydrator. Uh, when you add the grains on the top, you can have, have hot water coming in and also the grains coming down to mix with uh, uh, as liquid stators and coming down to the lash tank. Uh, very easy for you to do the lashing process. Uh, this one is uh, the grain raker, the top side, the motor and the reducer. You can have the grain rakers inside. Looking at from the top side of the mesh tank, you can see first one is the sponging ring the, as the water, the hot water sponging very smoothly. And uh, then you can see have the, uh, the grain raker. And this grain raker is uh, uh, customized by our company, very strong duty, and uh, do the great job during the meshing and the laundering process. And you also have the uh, auto, the grain auto out device. Uh, it's very easy to uh, operate through here. During the laundering process, we will do the backflow process. And you can see this pipeline is a backflow of the words from underneath of the Vinesto, uh, uh, the C plate, and uh, coming to the top side of the green bed. So this one is a side glass, and also you have a sample valve here. You can take in the wort and testing the sugar degree. Okay, next one is a cattle whirlpool tank. So on the top side, you can also see the, the, the conditioning pipe and also the glass window with uh, our customer's logo, very easy to monitor the uh, working process uh, without opening the door, very safe. So actually, inside of the cattle tank, there isn't too much thing to explain about, but you can see uh, the effect inside of the inner tank is very clean. We do all the passivating process for each tank, very suitable for you to do uh, multiple and many times of meshing and boiling is very clean and uh, uh, sanitary degree. So here is the PLC control screen. Uh, we have the panel installed on top side of the platform. It's very easy for you to operate during the brewing process. But it's not the very small. The main control box is underneath the platform. So uh, we have all the functions uh, programmed inside of this uh, control system. And you have the meshing process. You also you can um, to store different meshing recipes, uh, temperature degree, and also monitor the on off of the pump and on off the, the, uh, the grain vicar and also you have the temperature control process for all the fermenters, all the bright tank and the uh, glycol water tank and the cold water tank and all the chillers. All functions are controlled in this one. Very mini size but very high uh, function. This system is uh, uh, heated by steam. So we have uh, all the steam coming inlet and outlet installed ready in the factory. You can see here, this is a steam uh, pressure gauge and uh, this is a manual valve and this one is a pneumatic valve which is controlled automatically according to the temperature setting target amount and uh, we also have a spare tube that is uh, uh, this one is for auto control this one for manual control so just in case but it will working very well by this uh, pneumatic valve Okay, there is uh, almost everything about this matching system, but we also have some more functions about the details. If you want to get all the information, please send us by email, okay? And also we are very active on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. You can see more details on our pages and also uh, we are our sales representative uh, can speak English, German and uh, uh, Spanish. We can provide a service to you anytime you need. Okay, welcome to Paribu Tech. See you next time. Bye.